Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an ed tech and curriculum consultant, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I'm going to talk to you today about how to use an online Venn diagram. And so there's a terrific Venn diagram tool. Um, it's from the folks at ReadWriteThink.org, so you can access it from their website. It's a web browser-based tool, as you see here. It's also available as an Android app and as an iPad app. So lots of choices for using this Venn diagram tool. So as you see here, this is really friendly for both tablets using web browsers, Chromebooks using web browsers, and interactive whiteboards. And so a Venn diagram is just a graphic organizer that helps students compare two or more items, depending on how many circles they have overlapping. So I'm gonna go here and put in my name and my project title. And you'll see here that I have my Venn diagram ready to go. So I said that this was going to be comparing different pets. So maybe my first circle is going to be about dogs. My first circle is going to be about cats. And I could even add another circle if I wanted to do two different um, two different items as well. So really, more than two items, excuse me, really just depends on how many things you want to compare. So I can add a new item. And I can label my item, so I might say this one is feet. And my item description says they both have four legs and four paws. And I can make this a small, a medium, or a large. We'll keep it medium for now and check. And then I can decide, is this something they both have in common or that falls into one category? I can tap it and leave it there. I can click on it um, if I want to um, go back and edit. Um, or have more information, um, or I can make a decision and say, oops, I placed it in the wrong spot and place it somewhere else. So as you are tapping on your screen, you can decide if you want one of the circles to be larger than the others. Maybe it's because you're collecting a lot of information. Of course, you can add that other circle. Um, we could label this one hamsters if we wanted to do a third one and have them overlap. And this is a great activity for talking to students about comparing and contrasting, making connections between two different things. Maybe it's even um, trying to activate their prior knowledge about things they already know are part of a KWL. When you're finished, you can go here and hit finish and you'll get this nice final piece. If I go down here and click on the second one, you'll see that it puts that extra information about feet that weren't um, elaborated on just from this view. So the Venn diagram tool from Read, Write, Think is a really great option if you want to talk to students about comparing and contrasting um, using an online tool.